Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Queen Sunbeam Tarot. I am back with another video and in this video we're going to be diving into a message from the Egyptian sun god Ra, okay? And you will also be getting information about what's improving in your life, what's going to be improving in your life. Now, as you can see, I have three shells before you and I just intuitively felt that today's um, options would be shells. So for some reason, that's what I chose today. Um, but yeah, and if you want more information in regards to who the Egyptian god Ra is, then um, you can check my description box down below. Um, and you can also do your own research as well. Um, but yeah, so what I need for you guys to do is to get calm, get relaxed, get into a nice vibe. That way you can be guided by your intuition when choosing between the three options that I have before you today. So once you are calm, take a look at your options. So for option number one, or group number one, we have this shell right here. Group one. For group two, we have this shell right here. Oh, it's broken off a little bit, interesting. Group two, we have this shell. And for group three, we have this beautiful shell. Once you feel like you know which one is calling out to you, then go ahead and click on my description box um, down below and then click on the timestamp for whichever group you feel the most drawn to and then I will see you at your pile selection. If anything I say today resonates, please support my channel by liking this video, commenting down below, and subscribing to join the Sunstar family. I would love to have you. Make sure when you subscribe, you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, check out my Instagram and my TikTok. I have a lot of content over there, guys. Don't miss out on that. That information is down below, as well as the information to donate to my channel. It is not required, but it is greatly appreciated and helps out the channel as well. So let's go ahead and get started with group number one. So hello, group number one. If you chose this, sea sh this seashell, <laughs> then this will be your reading from the sun god Ra. Let's see what message the sun god Ra has for you guys. We're going to start with your tarot. Six of Wands. Okay, so right away we have the Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Empress, okay, Major Arcana, and the Hanged One, another Major Arcana coming out for you guys. Let me just set this up real nice and pretty for y'all. Okay, group one, and sorry if you hear them cutting grass. For some reason, they decided to cut grass today um, in my neighborhood <laughs> when I'm recording, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so I feel like for you guys, group number one, I feel like there is a conversation that the Sun God Ra wants to have with you guys, which is like, it's about maybe feelings of self-doubt or feelings of lack in your life. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough money. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough um, of the physical things in your reality. You know, I feel like you're, I'm feeling Venus energy here, especially with the Empress. And it's just like, you want to live that life of luxury. You want to have nice things. You want to look nice. You want to feel like you are, for some reason, I just heard floating in a spaceship or floating on a spaceship. <laughs> for some reason, I just heard that. I don't know. But I feel like you guys want to feel... Um, good and look good and be recognized especially with the six of wands you want to be recognized you want to be noticed for your beauty and for the qualities of the things that you have okay I don't know I'm picking up on that energy like that Venus energy of really wanting luxury and really wanting to have nice things and there's nothing wrong with that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I think that when the only thing that puts that in a little bit of a darker aspect um, when it comes to your energy, the only thing that really could possibly be wrong with that is when you are maybe too envious of others and what they have or when you are 
looking at yourself as less than as someone who isn't as abundant as abundant as other people that's the only time where this can turn into something more triggering than helpful when feeling these things and wanting these things can turn into a trigger for you so just keep that in mind the sun god ra wants you to recognize your own inner divinity wants you to dive a little bit deeper with the hanged one and really see um yourself for the amazing abundant spirit that you hold okay because whether you have a lot of things in the physical or not your spirit can carry abundance your spirit can carry the energy of luxury if you allow it if you see yourself that way and if you hold that perspective and that value within yourself so that is kind of what the message is coming through as taking a look at yourself and really seeing your worth your value and really loving yourself and loving and giving yourself that compassion maybe you don't have all of the things in the physical that you wish that you did but that doesn't mean that you won't have it someday and it definitely doesn't mean that you don't um vibrate in the energy of luxury you know what i'm saying it's all i feel like your mindset is extremely important um and that's coming through here I feel like some of you guys may feel very stuck when it comes to maybe making more money or, you know, I feel like also some of you guys really want to change something about the way you look or something about the way you're like um, something material, physical. It's all about the physical. For group one, there's something about you wanting to change something in the physical, be it your home, be it your car, be it your appearance, things like that, physical things, material things. You wanting that to change, but you feel stuck in regards to those areas. Maybe even you're stuck in your job, things like that, um, or stuck and don't have a job. You know, this is all physical things, right? So there's something, some area like that that you guys feel stuck in. And I feel like if you take a moment, because I feel like when you're too focused on the physical, material, things in this 3D earthly realm, you may, you may lose the best parts of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because you're so stuck in the phys physical, because the physical is not all there is, okay? The physical is not all there is. And I feel like the sun god Ra wants to shine light on this for you guys. This is why I'm talking about it. Because um, Ra is coming through with the energy of the physical is not all that there is. You know that there's way more. Or your spirit knows. Your, your intuition knows that there's more to life than just the material and the physical things. It's not, and again, like I said in the beginning, there's nothing wrong with wanting those things. But remember that... Um, some things are much more important than just those material and physical things because when you die, you cannot take that with you. So really, really make sure that you are taking very, very good care of yourself and your energy and not allowing yourself to be sucked up in, in the physicality of everything because you know how social media you see somebody with a with a lit body you see baddies you see you see people with all the fancy cars and things on social media like maybe it's time to limit those things so that it's not so so that it doesn't become toxic for you because it can become toxic okay so i feel like the sun god Ra for group one wants you to look a little deeper you chose the white seashell so I feel like that's all about connecting more to spirit. That's all about connecting to something um, outside of yourself and outside of the physicality of everything, okay? At least that's what I'm picking up on. Let's see what else we have with your Oracle cards. Know you are loved. New moon in Libra. Yo. Yes. This is what I'm saying. Like, I feel like it's like, please remember group one, no matter what you have, even if it's not, you know, what other people have, no matter what you are loved the sun god Ra wants you to know that you are loved and don't you forget it like i said that venus energy like you deserve luxury you deserve good things you deserve good people around you and you deserve to know that you are loved whether you have what other people have or not you are loved okay that's important for you guys to know and it's also i'm seeing these mountains here and a lot of um clouds and this can 
um, indicate for me that there's been some fogginess when it comes to your mind okay maybe the, again like we talked about maybe too wrapped up in the physicality of certain things right so there's some fogginess going up in in your mind like things may not be as clear to you this is what's causing the stuckness right don't worry because with the hanged one i do see in the like come on the light shining there is going and then even the crown like there's there's a big indication here that the sun god ra is going to show you that you are loved is going to show you that you deserve nice things it's going to show you that you are more than enough and you don't really need anything extra <laughs> like to be the empress you don't need anything extra to be the empress you just are you know allow yourself to just be is what i heard right so this is reminding me of lavender this flower down here is reminding me of lavender make sure you're getting enough rest okay and make sure you're meditating give yourself enough time to really just breathe and settle into the present okay because you you need to really remember that the sun god rise saying just remember what's really important you know, and I know some of you guys are like, well, me having a good job is important. Me being able to pay my bills, pay my written is important. Yes, it's important. But also you being able to love yourself is important. You being able to know that you are loved is important. You being able to see yourself in a in a better perspective, in a better light is important as well. OK, so let's see what else we have here. Key of life, spinning the ang the ankh. <laughs> The key of life okay um let's put this right here we're gonna dive into that in a minute and then we have temple of lapis lazuli goddess of the ancient skies okay now i'm gonna read out of the book for those two cards just give me one minute so for the key of life it says the key of life is the mysterious i hope i'm saying it right ankh the looped cross held in the hand of Isis. This mystery, this mystery is opening to you now. The Ankh pretends, pretends new life being born through you now. It could be in a creative sense or in a physical sense, in terms of health or even a child that wishes to be born, a new project that needs to be created in a service to humanity. This new life being born in whatever form will enrich your life, bring you more into wholeness and fulfillment let it happen i feel like with this card y'all whatever it is you've been feeling stuck in like i feel like you're again you're going to overcome that okay and i feel like it could be maybe a creative project it could be um just some it could all i feel like it could be a creative project but i also feel like it could have a lot to do with the self which is what we talked about in your reading it's like there's something within you wanting to break free want, wanting to be born and i feel like it's this newfound self-worth it's this newfound um recognition of your own inner divinity and it's this power that is within you that wants to be born wants to be birthed okay and I feel like the key of life here is saying, allow it, open yourself up to it, open yourself up to a new perspective and work on creating the version of yourself that you want the world to see and that you want to be. OK, that's what I'm getting with that. Let's move on to the Temple of Lapis Lazuli. OK, so with the Temple of Lapis Lazuli, your soul is very ancient, beloved and does not look. OK, listen, your, let me read that again. Your soul is very ancient, beloved, and does not only herald from the earth. It holds much special wisdom of star peoples from civilizations far and near with unique high vibrational awareness that can help humanity transition from a civilization based in fear to a loved based culture. You are guided to come into deeper acceptance of your own inner knowing now okay so it's like your soul i feel like your soul is begging for something more is begging for something deeper is begging for you to look at things differently because you again like the card says you have so much inner wisdom within you okay and 
you are meant to vibrate high. So whenever you get into that low space, it's because you're focusing too much on the physical aspect of things because you are a, a being that vibrates at a high level frequency. And when you're too focused on the physical, you're losing the spiritual. You're losing the aspect of yourself that is most deepest connected to your soul. So it's really about... I feel like stepping out of fear, stepping out of the physical. Yes, it, like when I say physical, I'm not saying that like you need not to ground yourself. No, grounding yourself is important because as you meditate, like that means meditating. So you meditating is definitely you connecting to your spirit, to your soul. OK, and to things higher to higher than yourself. That's what you need to take more time out to do. OK, in order to release yourself from maybe fear based energies with this five of pentacles. OK. And it, this is saying you're not of this earth, so don't be so focused on this earth, on what these earthly matters are, okay? Remember that. I feel like that's what the message is there. Now, let's see what's improving. What's going to be improving for group one? Psychic, prote psychic protection. Around me now is shade of gold protecting me strong and bold. And then we have safe home. I cast this circle roundabout. Safety now is beyond a doubt. What this is saying to me, I feel like you guys have been kind of being influenced by lower level energies, lower level spirits, things of that nature. OK, I feel that don't be afraid when I say that, because you are, like I said, a being from the stars, you vibrate at a high vibrational frequency. And because your light is so bright, guess what? Those little darker energies are going to be like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> you think you're so high and mighty let me take you down <laughs> but you know what i'm saying this is a beautiful indication that you're going to be getting the protection that you need especially in your home if you've been having some weird situations happening in your home or if you've been feeling very unsafe um that's again that's again a sign to ground and work work on your root chakra keep that in mind um but this is going to be a protection of the mind and protection of the, you know, physical things, your home, yourself, things like that. Just like I feel like what this is saying as in like what's improving is your mind. And I feel like what's improving is also just your your security, what what you feel secure in or something that maybe you haven't really been feeling secure in is going to be improving. Like you're going to be feeling more safe. I, again, like maybe if you lost your job or something like that and you're like unsure about where life is going to take you now, where, what are you going to do? And you're just really worried. Know that you're going to be just fine. Things are going to be improving for you guys. OK. Um, and again, when I when I talk about the lower level energies, this is you guys getting protection from source spirit. This is you guys getting protection from raw as well. Your spirit guides trying to help you stay focused on what is truly important and um, keep those lower vibrational energies away from you and make sure that you are doing the same in your life um, as well. OK, so that way, you know on both ends in the physical you're working on protecting your mind not watching too much tv not doing too much social media not interacting with people that just want to bring you down you know what i'm saying make sure you're doing that actively doing that because on the spiritual side of things i see here that you're going to be um very well protected okay so that's what i have for you guys group number one i really hope that you enjoyed it if you did please give me a big fat like comment down below and subscribe to join the sunstar family i would love to have you make sure you subscribe you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a video also check out my instagram and tiktok that information is down below as well as the information to donate to my channel it is not required but it is greatly appreciated and i hope to see y'all in the next one i am out peace okay hello group two so if you chose this um shell then this will be your reading my love so and i said my love maybe you guys need some love right now <laughs> and again you guys chose the shell that has like a little crack broken okay and it's not like the cleanest looking you know what i'm saying so maybe you're going through a dark time right now we'll see um let's start with your tarot to see what the message is from the sun god ra so we have eight of swords seven of cups
Six of Cups. And the Three of Swords. Let me just set this up. I just heard give love to yourself. I feel like you guys need a hug, like a real strong hug. And I feel very sad right now. I feel very sad for some reason out of nowhere. Like I just feel like this energy of like wanting to cry and feeling very sad. So you guys may be going through a really dark time, especially with this three of swords here. There may have been some sort of ending, some betrayal, some, some real deep hurt, okay? And this hurt really triggered you into feeling hella stuck with this Eight of Swords. Like, you are, you've like put yourself in this energy of I'm not going anywhere. It's like, it's like that energy of I'm not talking to anyone. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to keep to my motherfucking self and I'm not doing nothing no more. I don't want to talk to nobody. Like, it's in that, I'm just, it's like your shadow side is most definitely really um, taken over. Okay. Your shadow side has has taken over at this point um out of protection like it wants to protect you it's trying to protect you because there was something here that really hurt you really confused you and i don't feel like it was one specific thing i feel like it's never really is like whenever you go into like a depression i don't know if it's you know let me let me just speak from my own experience <laughs> okay because you know everybody's different but whenever i go into a depression it is everything built up it's like the shit that happened last tuesday okay what happened last tuesday on top of what's happening now and what happened a year ago like it's just it's just like everything accumulates everything just kind of like adds up okay everything adds up every all those you have all of those dark memories of everything that happened in the past and it just kind of just it wants to consume you and i feel like the sun got rise basically saying please don't let it consume you please don't let it consume you whatever has happened in your life whatever has brought you to this darkest part of yourself don't let it consume you and i'm hearing like ride the wave out ride the wave out is like whatever the hell is going on for you group two that's dark that's heavy that's just too much going on ride that wave right up on out of that shit okay like allow for yourself to kind of just you know be in that energy yes because you know you have to go through it move through it in order to get through it so you're in the wave you're in the midst of the waves and you're being carried by the waves let the waves carry you back to shore okay let the waves carry you back to shore because i feel like whatever it is you're going through because i keep staring at this uh tornado it's a storm i feel like it's a storm it's a tough tough wave that you guys are going through and i feel like once you just allow yourself to feel it and go through it you will be able to release it and move the fuck on because i feel like you guys are like i'm ready to move on <laughs> like i'm ready to move on i'm ready for better i'm ready to not be dealing with the same old bullshit that i've been dealing with and i feel like that's the, the energy that you guys are in like you're tired of being stuck you're tired of feeling confused you're tired of all of this old stuff coming back up to hurt you you know what i'm saying and you're ready to move on okay and the sun god Ra is asking you to allow yourself to feel what you feel and ask yourself questions too because this snake looks like a question mark to me ask yourself que questions how'd you get here how'd you get um caught up in this wave how'd you get here how is it making you feel and how can you how can you improve things you know how can things improve for you also look at what's good in your life as well i'm feeling that energy look at what's good in your life as well we have the ten of wands but it came out reversed so yes you're releasing something huge that's why the sun god Ra is like just allow yourself to kind of just float through this wave ride the wave ride the freaking wave back to the shore it's going to pull you right back to the shore so that way you can just kind of let let it all go let it all go whatever it is you're going through let it all go okay it could have something to do with like a past person okay um it could have something to do with like a specific person from your past okay someone that maybe you don't talk to anymore okay 
or you are deciding not to talk to anymore someone that really caused you a lot of pain and, and this is like a karmic situation um someone co who could have been very toxic as well okay could have been a fire sign uh it doesn't have to be a person though whatever you're going through group two but i see that it's a tough situation let's see what else we have here speak your world into being first quarter moon in gemini okay so i feel like the good news here for you group two no matter what it is that you're going through you're going to be stepping out of it <laughs> okay no matter what it is that you're going through group two um i feel like it's sadness you know and it could be brought on by other people or it could just be something that you feel within yourself maybe it's like you were going through your day normal but all of a sudden these emotions are coming up they're coming up for a reason my love it is for you to take a look at what's really going on within you okay especially if you haven't been doing that um because that's probably where the confusion is like i was just fine but where's these heart why, why am i crying like why am i going through this right now it's because you needed to go go through this. It's because you needed a good cry. It's because you needed to release, okay? Um, you need to release that so that way you can change your rea reality, change your world, okay? With the speak your world into being. And I feel like as well, this could all, with speak your world into being, this could also mean um, that you guys were saying things to yourself. Maybe before this even happened, you know, this breakdown or this sadness, whatever it was, maybe before, maybe you were saying like little things to yourself without really actually realizing it, but saying little things to yourself that weren't very kind, that weren't very nice. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind as well. Be careful how you speak to yourself or what you are speaking out into the existence, you know, into your existence, because, um, that may be the cause of why this has happened as well. But with Speak Your World into being, again, and you guys are going to be changing. I feel like if this has to do with other people, since so we have, you know, the Gemini, Gemini is reminding me of like communication, okay? So this has to do with other people. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be in i feel like one of the things that's going to be improving is your communication with others okay your communication with others how you speak to each other how you speak to people okay that's one of the things that's going to be improving and i also feel like i also feel like the sun god Ra is telling you that whatever it is that you're not liking about yourself not liking about your reality you have the power to change and you have the power to manifest a lot of change for yourself don't doubt that group number two. Don't doubt the fact that you can change your your reality, okay? Because I feel like you guys are powerful manifestors. And I also feel like your emotions and the emotions that you um, feel when you are speaking something is a, a way for you to manifest, is the way that you manifest. So let's say you got into an argument with somebody and you're like, F you. Um, I hope you die. That, you know, that's extreme. But you know what I'm saying? Be careful with the words that you speak because you're angry and you're shouting that emotion. And that emotion is a wave, okay? That emotion has an impact. And that word, and that word infused with your emotion is going to manifest. So just keep that in mind, group two. Um, keep that in mind. Be mindful of what you say to others, okay? Um, I feel like that's the, a really important message for you guys for some reason. Maybe you got into some sort of situation or a talk with somebody um, that didn't go so well. All right. And again, it doesn't even have to be with somebody else. It could just be with yourself. You saying something like that to yourself. Um, again, I feel like you guys may have gone through some sort of depression or maybe going through that. But there's going to be a powerful changes coming for you guys. Powerful changes. So don't stay stuck. Release yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like once you feel whatever it is you need to feel in that moment, if it's sadness, feel that sadness. If it's anger, feel that anger. Whatever it is you need to feel, feel in that moment. Um, and again, be careful what you say, but just feel feel what you feel. Release it. Let your let 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 the restriction, let the restriction and the limitations go. Okay let it go because this this is all about a massive and major release that i'm seeing here that's what um the sun god Ra wants to talk about a massive and major release happening here 
whatever it is that you are currently going through is a massive and major release that needed to happen in order to free yourself from some I don't want to say delusion <laughs> but free yourself from some fear-based um, lower vibrational way of thinking or being okay so just keep that in mind let's see what else we have here healing the divine masculine or Osiris rises yeah <laughs> Yeah, and I kept I kept getting this feeling of the underworld because I know that the sun god Ra, the Egyptian sun god Ra, he passed through the underworld or passed through the, yeah, he did pass through the underworld, right? So I kept feeling that energy and then Osiris, the god of the underworld, comes out in your reading. So yeah, you guys are transmuting some dark, dark, heavy energy, okay? Keep that in mind. I'm going to get in the guidebook and read this um out of the guidebook for you guys really quickly okay so it says the divine masculine within men and women is the energy that allows for protection discernment healing and a sense of deep safety and and holding even though the most um, even even through excuse me even through the most uncomfortable circumstances of life when the masculine within us is healthy and strong, we have a inner strength to hold ourselves safe through anything. Your inner masculine is going through healing right now, growing stronger in his ability to offer you inner protection and stability so that your inner feminine can blossom with creative expression. Yeah, see, that's why you're, I feel like, okay, this might sound, this might sound wrong, but that's why you're in a timeout group too. This is why you're taking a time out with this eight of swords. And this is why I feel like these things are coming up. Things you're, you're going through a healing period right now. So that way, when you step out, you really step out. You know what I'm saying? That way, when you really allow yourself to just fully express and be, you do it without any reservation. You do it without any fear of how somebody else might feel. Okay. Things are transforming within the self. Things are transforming within yourself. You're healing that divine masculine part of you. So that way that feminine part of you may shine, okay? Without feeling like, oh no, they're going to judge me for this. Or, or, oh no, like how, you know, just letting all of that go, okay? <laughs> letting all of that go. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we're going to dive into what will be improving for you guys. And I'm seeing a lot of like blue type of colors. So throat chakra really focus it in on the throat chakra for you guys your expression that is one of the things i do see here that will be um improving okay let's see what else will be improving trust i am safe i am secure and love i trust my faith endures yes yeah, so i feel like if again if there was relationships that was kind of like triggering you um really challenging you and really just like especially with like like men especially with men in your life if these relationships that you have with men in your life are haven't really been the best um i feel like that's going to be improving okay as you improve the divine masculine within yourself that will be improving i feel like you may come into relationships or situations where you or even within yourself where you start to feel more safe where you start to feel like I can be soft, I can be feminine, and I, I can be like open to receiving good things um, without being fearful of what someone might do to me or being fearful of that softness, okay? You're really learning how to trust that part of yourself and really learning how to trust yourself in your own discernment as well. That's improving. And we have here strength, strength, stability in this hour, enduring stamina, I empower. Yes, whatever you're going through, the sun god Ra is definitely coming through to say that you will be able to make it through, okay? And you, you're you being blessed by the sun god Ra. You're being blessed with the strength to endure and to make it through anything, to make it through anything that you are going through. So don't, don't, don't think that you can't, because you can, group two. You can. You can make it through anything, and you're, you're being blessed with that ability. And you'll start to feel that for yourself as well. You'll start to feel more courageous, more stable. Okay, things will get better, group two. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. And I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big fat like, comment down below, and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. I would love to have you. 
Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, check out my Instagram and TikTok. That information is down below. As well as the information to donate to my channel. It is not required, but it is greatly appreciated. And I hope to see y'all in the next one. I am out. Peace. Hello, group number three. Boy, these messages have been very nice and empowering, but this is a long reading, okay? <laughs> um, but let's see what we have for you guys. I'm so sorry for saying that, but yeah. Um, so if you chose this this beautiful show right here, then this is gonna be your reading. So let's see what we have for you guys, starting with the tarot. As your message, so we have the devil. Two of Cups, the Magician, and the Nine of Swords. Okay. Now, I don't know why I just heard self-imposed restriction. Okay. With the nine of swords, there's some sort of, I feel like you guys are being, with the devil and the nine of swords at the end, it's like, you guys are holding your own self back in regards to, you're holding your own self back, group three. I'm just, like, this is what I'm getting. You're holding your own self back. Maybe with the worry, with the fears, with the, you know, overthinking things, like, that could be what's really, like, maybe a toxic thing that you do that's really holding you back from a manifestation that you desire, okay? Um, or even a skill that you have that needs to be expressed, but you just, you're not, you're too worried about it for some reason. There's something you're worried about that is holding you back, that is keeping you bound in a lower vibrational energy I just heard it's time to truly connect it's time to truly connect this could also be relationships in your life with the two of cups right this could be relationships in your life or a certain connection that is keeping you stuck keeping you in feeling worried keeping you feeling fearful Okay, so just keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be yourself, but with the magician, though, I feel like you have the power to, to get out of the situation. You have the power, whatever it is that's keeping you stuck, whatever it is that's um, trying to, to bind you in some way, you have the power to free yourself. That's why, that's why I got that. You remember, I heard self-imposed restriction. You have the power to free yourself, group three, whatever it is. Whatever it is that's keeping you worried, whatever it is that's um, bringing you such toxicity, you have the power to free yourself. Pay attention to your dreams as well. Let me see. I'm just going to shuffle and see what else I'm getting here. Yeah, it's like you, it's time to cleanse yourself as well. I'm focusing in on this white dress that she's wearing. It's time to cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself. Maybe, what are we cleansing? Let's see. What do we need to cleanse? Spirit, what do we need to cleanse? Page of Wands. What do we need to cleanse? What do we need to cleanse? Yeah. It's like you have ideas or you have something that's really worth watching or really worth taking your time on or really worth sharing. You have something that's worth sharing, but you keep holding yourself back for some reason. And it's like, you need to cleanse that. You need to let go of that. You need to let go of that and stop doing that. Stop holding yourself back. Why are you holding yourself back for? <laughs> What are you holding yourself back from? We have the fool, a new beginning. You're holding yourself back from a new beginning. A new project, something like that. Let's clarify the devil. Let's clarify the devil. Yeah. 
we have the ten of swords and it says everything is fine and then we have the hanged one coming back again so yeah that message is clear like in the five of swords at the back which i saw okay five of swords at the back of the deck i feel like you get defeated like it's like something that you want to try or something that you want to do some like uh, sun god Ra, share your gift share your gift you have gifts you have skills you have something that needs to be expressed or something that needs to be shared with the world you have something worth sharing and i feel like you're not doing it because maybe you feel defeated in some way or maybe you just i don't know you get in your head about it and then you end up feeling defeated and then it's just like you end up feeling stuck and depressed okay and i feel like that's not that's not the energy that you should be in like, I feel like if you take the risk, it will be worth it. If you take the risk, it will be worth it. Don't let your fears hold you back, group number three. That's what I'm seeing here as the message from the sun god, Ra. It's time to be courageous. It's time to not allow for your fears to hold you back anymore, okay? Two of cups. You have a sleepless nights as well. It's time for that to end. Don't let fear hold you back. Two of cups. Two of Cups. I feel like if this is about a person, we have the uh, Queen of Pentacles. If this is about a person, right, you feel stuck when it, in regards to a person or you feel like you don't want to be with nobody else or something like that or you won't be able to find somebody else, I feel like you would be able to find somebody else. You would find people that are more stable that are more clear with their intentions with the ace of swords that are actually um calming to you that actually help you when you feel anxiety when you feel anxious if this is about a person and you're holding on to a person that only leaves you feeling stuck only leaves you feeling darkness the sun god Ra spirit as well is saying you have better options. You are worth more. There will be people that come into your life with clear energy, with clear intentions, and that help you to, to settle down. I don't know why I just heard that, but to settle down, to like, to cool off, cool off. It's like you need to cool off, group three. You're running too hot. <laughs> you need to cool off. We got the lovers at the back of the deck. Yeah, you need to cool off. There's too much emotion. There's too much, um, yes, there's too much emotion flowing through you, group three, and it's making you too hot, okay? And you need to cool off. That may not make sense to some of y'all, but it, it's like you're running hot, and because you're running hot, it's so much going on. It's like so much going on within your aura, within your energetic field, group three. And don't get worried because I feel like Maybe after this message, you'll be able to cool down a little bit because it's like you have, again, you have everything you need to free yourself from this energy, okay? Just know that everything is within you. You have everything you need within you to free yourself from that energy. So we have here, new moon in Aquarius, open up to change, okay? You see what I'm saying? The sun god Ra is telling you it's time to time for a new beginning, okay? It's time for a new beginning, it's time to release the old, the fears, the past, even, even if it's a past person, it's time to release all of that. So that way you can be more open to change happening in your life. So that way you can, that way you can accomplish more. I feel like your soul is, oh my God, I feel like your soul is craving for more. Your soul wants more. And it's like so sad because it's like, in some ways maybe with your actions you're holding yourself back and your soul is like please like let's just try let's just see you know if this is about you being in a relationship with somebody and you know they're they're who you're used to being with you don't know you're, you're too afraid to try someone else um you know even though this person treats you like crap your soul is like we can do it <laughs> We, we can do it. We can attract better for ourselves. We can have more for ourselves. We just got to be open up to change. We have to be open to change, okay? And this is about our job. You're in this job every day and you're living the same crappy job life and you're tired of it, but you're like, I don't know if I can find another job. I don't know if, you know, I, I, I'm just going to stay here because this is what I know. 
No. Sun God Ra is saying, no, be open to change. You can attract better for yourself. You can attract more for yourself. You can have more. Okay. So that's like the main message that I'm getting for y'all. All right. So let's see what else we have here. Queen of Heaven, blessings from the Divine Empress of the Skies. You guys are going to be blessed. Just be open, okay? Please be open, Group 3. Be open to change because you will be blessed. And I'm sorry if this message came off like I'm trying to tell you what to do. No, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Um, it's your life. Live it the way that you want to want to live it. I'm just feeling the energy that the Sun God Ra is channeling through me. And it's a little bit... And, it, and I'm tapping into your energy too, whether you realize it or not, is like... There's some frustration here, and I feel like the frustration could also be coming from your spirit guides as well, because they're always guiding you and trying to put you on the right track or whatever, but you guys may kind of just like miss the mark a little bit, guys, <laughs> for some reason. Um, but yeah, so let's see what else we have here. The brother in darkness, overcoming negative energy with feminine power, yes. That's what I'm saying. It's like, if you guys just allow yourself to be open, that's you be that's you stepping into the feminine energy that you carry within allowing yourself to be open allowing yourself to be taken wherever the world wants to take you wherever the universe wants to take you or guide you allow yourself to be guided to something better that's how you're going to overcome negative energy this negative energy that showed up in your reading with the nine of swords and the devil by saying, you know what, I'm open to change. I have the skills and abilities to attract more for myself and I'm ready for it. And I'm not going to continue to allow what is beneath me. Because I feel like whatever this is, is beneath you. And I feel like that needed to be said. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have with the Queen of Heaven. Okay, um, I'll start there for you guys. I'm going to read it out of the guidebook. Okay, so the Queen of Heaven, the Divine Empress of the Skies, acknowledges your feminine authority now. As a man or a woman, you have a life path of spiritual leadership to bring qualities of mercy, compassion, and wisdom to the world. Yes, this is saying you have so much to offer, okay? And I, again, I still stand by the message of you guys will be receiving a blessing, but I feel like that blessing is when you... You'll receive that blessing when you allow yourself to be open to certain change. Don't be afraid to take risk if you feel intuitively guided to. Take those risks. Risk. Take those risks that your intuition is telling you to take. Trust that part of yourself. This this matches so well with your shell. Your shell was the softest, most cleanest, uh, pink, feminine shell. Okay, and it was giving me so much love energy. Okay. So it's like tap into that feminine side of yourself because it's like you have so much to offer and teach this world, okay? And allow yourself to be open to taking certain risk in order to achieve your goals, your your um, the success that you want to see or the change that you want to see in your life. It's not going to happen if you don't take certain risk or if you don't allow yourself to be open to it, if that makes sense. Next card, we have the brother, the brother in darkness. Okay, so it says whenever negative energy is present, it is a sign that we are ready to move more deeply into our feminine divine power. The brother in darkness indicates that there is a there is negative energy either within you or outside of you, but directed towards you that is that is providing you with a spiritual test. Beloved initiate, you shall overcome this energy with grace and triumph. Stay in your heart. There is no need to be afraid. That's what we talked about in your reading, you feeling afraid and afraid to just kind of like let go and move on. Because whatever this negative energy is, is like I said, either within you or out around you, um, it's, it's kind of like trying to stop you from moving forward. But don't let it stop you because what I'm seeing here is that the universe will help you. Like, I feel like you will have help. Just like, don't question it. You will have help. Just know that. <laughs> Be an Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius energy. Like you being open, new moon energy. You have to be open to positive changes. Be open to new changes. Be open to new ways of thinking and new ways of being. This is a spiritual test happening for you guys. 
Um, you guys may be psychic. You guys may be very like in, in that spiritual field. You don't have to be, but this is definitely a spiritual test for you guys to see if you will overcome your fears and really share your gifts with the world. And you may say like, what gifts do I have? Don't worry, you'll be shown the way, okay? Um, let's see what's improving for you guys. Group number three, authenticity. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. Then we have harvest. As the ways of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me harvest. I am ready to receive my all. Exactly. Like if you are in the spiritual business or feel you are ready for harvest, you are ready to receive the blessing. Like I said, you guys are going to receive that blessing. Look at that. It may, especially if you're like you're a you know, YouTuber, tarot reader, things like that. Um, more clients, more views, more things of that nature coming your way, okay? Even if you don't work in that area, um, and this is just about, this could be about your work, like your career, like your actual work career, you getting a promotion, things like that. Things are going to be improving in those areas where you would love to see success. And also, I feel like, again, like I said, it's going to happen after you um, let go and release certain fears that you guys have but with authenticity um, I feel like a lot of that fear is surrounded by your own authenticity um, which means that I feel like you guys feel a little bit like um, imposter syndrome sometimes or like you're not good enough for some reason okay for some of you guys and I feel like that's why authenticity came out because you're going to really see who you truly are and that's one of the things that's going to be improving. It's gonna help you reach that harvest because you're gonna see your worth and attract it, okay? Um, so that's what I got for you guys, group three. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big fat like, comment down below and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. I would love to have you. Make sure when you subscribe, you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, check out my Instagram and TikTok. That information is down below, as well as the information to donate to my channel. It is not required, but it is greatly appreciated. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I am out. Peace.